Hi all, Alex here from The Mad Cartographer and this is our latest What A Mad Week where we do a little bit of a showcase uh, showing you guys what we have been up to this week on our Patreon. We are in March, we are just about ready to release the new theme which is Modular Caverns. If you saw the update last month um, off the back of our Strongholds theme where we used levels module. This month we are leaning heavily into token attacher to make our modules for foundry. Now these are modular tile sets so they can be used in any VTT. They can be printed um, and used at the table as well. So um, if you are not a foundry user don't worry but you should be. Um, but we're going to demonstrate it in, in foundry. They will work in other VTTs like they would uh, you know any other modular tile. In foundry uh, they're not just tiles, we are making them into token attacher tiles, which means that the um, when you drag them out of the compendium, they will have the walls and the lights and sounds attached to the actual tile. So we're going to demonstrate it. Not talk about it, I'm going to demonstrate it. Um, let's start with, we've got the, this actors tab open, um, because token attacher, it, it attaches everything to a token. Okay, So even though you've got all the tiles over here, You'll add these through your actors tab at the top. Um, and the ones that we've got here so far are just the ones that I've attached walls to. There's so many more tiles that we've made that I've just not converted into token attacher yet. So let's start with uh, a big room. Let's go with this uh, this lava one. It's a nice big room here. Uh, and so you can see that when I place this down, um, because the size of the token is the size of the grid, which is 140 pixel grid, um, it will snap to the grid so that means that your walls and your tiles are always going to snap to exactly the right spot you don't need to be uh, working out you know and lining things up it's really easy to do um, when you drop this you can see here and people that have uh, used mad cartographer stuff before you will have seen this cog this basically means that you can select it and you can rotate it and what this does with token attacher because all these walls these pre-made walls on this tile are attached to this cog, when we rotate them, it rotates the walls as well. And as I said, you can see these uh, this light effect that we've got to make it look like the lava's moving, and we've also got the sound of lava as well. And there's not sound and lights on every tile, just kind of like ones with uh, water or uh, fire and stuff like that, or any you know anywhere it's relevant. Uh, but in general, the the standard tiles don't have sounds and uh, and lights on them um but what we're gonna do we're gonna just quickly build um uh, a little uh, a little cavern network now building this network the ends these these open areas where there's no walls so these are these are a connecting point we've got them ending in two three and one tiles um, some of the tiles we've got, like it will end in a two. We've got connecting parts that will bring it down to a one, so that you can pretty much connect everything to some degree. Um, so there are some things that I have noticed. I, I noticed afterwards that I haven't actually walled this bit, so there is a little bit of walling that I have to go back over. But that's that's just my error. That's <laughs> nothing else. So everything will be fixed. Um, but this is just a little showcase uh, to show you what we're working on and where we're at. Uh, so we've got this little, um, you can see we've got a four way. So this is just a little junction section and we've either got it as a one by one, two by two or a three by three. Well, we wanna connect this one here. So let's drop down a two by two. And like I said, you can see with the walls, actually this doesn't even need walls. That was a terrible example. Um, I'll show it on another one. Let's find something else that's got a two. That's got a two, okay. So, this is fits into there. You can see where these two walls end. And because we've used the snapping to grid when we've done the walling, these are all exactly on that on that uh, that axis, that cross section there. Um, so when uh, and, and both tiles. So when we move them together, that means the tiles are both finishing um, on that same that same section and creating a pretty seamless link. Um, but now we've got, you know, we don't even need this. Let's let's get rid of this one because this was a good a good section to have. Um, so we've now got uh, these other bits. So let let's connect some more stuff up. We can make a pretty decent sized network here. 
Um, at the moment, we've not got a ton of large rooms. That's what we're now in the process of building. Um, so do bear with us. Um, this is far from uh, a complete set. Um, so we've got this large one here. Let's see if we can connect this up. So I either need a corner going into a two or a corner going into a one. Um, let's have a look. So these are straight. So a straight, I think, has two two ends. But I think because I think we've got bend ones as well that I've not actually made yet. Okay. So let's go with that one. Could work. Yeah. Let's use that one. Okay, so that's going to go into there, that's going to connect up to that one, that connects up to that one, and then we've got a few open ends, so where these connecting points are, they're obviously going to go into nothing, so we need to put some end caps on these. Um, and we've got different ones, you know, we've got some, uh, just some simple ones, and they're simple enough that you could copy, paste, um, Okay, let's maybe not copy paste then. Let's just drag and drop. Normally can copy paste. I think it's just having a bit of a, a laggy, laggy issue. Um, so you can kind of put these on um, and just put these little end capped where you want the map to end. And we've got some little bit more colourful ones if you want to, you know, end in some little treasure areas. Um, what else have we got? Got another one. Can go for a little treasure chest, and then we've got to end this one and this one. So let's just go with um, do, do, do a little cave collapse, maybe. And then last but not least, um, let's go with this long one with a bit of a treasure at the end. And there you go. We just made. A self-contained cavern. Easy. Easy peasy. Um, and so I'll show you what it looks like when you've got the player. Let me reset the lighting because I have been on this map before. Um, and then we'll drop our foundry guy in and there you go. So for the players, it's all just walled off. Um, no gaps between the seams. And... Like I said, there's a couple of walls that I, I need to go back over, but you get the idea. And it just works like anything else. So the moment we've got um, we've got these. These are the ones that we've made, but these are the tiles that we've made. Let me delete all these first. I'll show you some of the tiles. Um, okay, let's come out of that. Uh, da, 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 da. Modular caverns, images, tiles, modular tiles. There you go. So here's the ones that we've actually made at the moment. Quite a nice selection. You know, we've got stuff like bridges that will all be walled off. Um, we've got some little camp areas. Um, we're going for some variations where we've got like a, a pit, lava, and water. Um, just some interesting little bends. Uh, so these are just the, the tiles that we've made so far. We are now in the process of making some larger feature rooms. Uh, we're going to be making quite a few 20 by 20-ish tiles um, that have got some larger assets in there. And we're also going to be really focusing on our assets this month uh, in preparation for next month. Because next month we're going very asset focused with our Patreon. Um, we're going to be making our assets available at lower tiers um, and moving around a lot of stuff. Um, so uh, hopefully it'll be worth checking out. But there you go. We're pretty excited with uh, the way this is shaped up already. This is in pretty much five days work that we've got all these tiles on the go. So it should be a pretty healthy collection by the time we're finished. And I think it's the kind of thing that we will add to when we get the time um, in between other themes. Uh, I think it's one that um, will always benefit having a few extra little tiles added every so often to keep it a bit more fresh. 
Um, but there you go. Uh, if uh, if you like it, then let us know what you think in the comments. If you've got any thoughts of any rooms or stuff that you would like to see, any stuff you've seen from other modular sets that you didn't like or that sometimes get missed out, let us know. You know, we, we just want to make this the best pack that we can, um, whether you are a founder user or not. Uh, so, as ever, thank you guys for watching. Um, and keep rolling those 20s, folks. <laughs>